Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Tide TV. My name is Tide, and today we're going to be talking about several features that MMOs like to sell themselves on, whether it be different class systems, different playstyles, um, the way their world is shaped. We're going to look at my top five favorite MMO features on the market. Let's take a look. For number five, I picked factions. I love when games have two separate factions that you can choose. Uh, you got races on each side. It creates this kind of tension between both play, uh, both playable factions and stills this really nice PvP vibe. The struggle for little things like back in the old days where we used to fight for South Shore and Terran Mill. That was, I thought that was freaking awesome. You know, you guys were always in this heated battle over something that really didn't matter because it didn't really make that much of a difference in game. But it was just this hostility between the Horde and the Alliance that I think is great. Number four, I definitely have to give to Final Fantasy XIV for their dungeon roulette system. I love that no matter what level you are, you can queue for a dungeon and you can be put into a dungeon with a bunch of lobies and in a low level dungeon and you get scaled down. Scaled XP, um, you get different, uh, what do you call it, kind of like Valor Point type systems that they have going on. Um, I think it's neat, I think it's different, and it allows a lot of the older dungeons to stay relevant. I think this roulette system should be used in a lot of different, in a lot of more games rather than just having regular dungeon queues. I think dungeon queues can be uh, kind of annoying since you only can queue with people of your own level. I like being able to go back and help people, or like if I have a friend who wants to play, I can scale down and you know do dungeons with them. I really uh, like that kind of system. Number three, I'd say I piggyback off of my last um, dungeon roulette and say scaling, level scaling in general. I love how in Guild Wars 2, we can go back and um, go to lower level zones and automatically be scaled down to that level. That way all the mobs in that zone are still relevant. Maybe not as hard because you're only as strong as the best geared person at that level, but it's still nice to be able to see the other, the other zones and explore them and still get XP from them. And it gives this kind of a, the world is always living type feeling. Um, opposed to like in WoW where you can only go to the zone that you're leveling in, the zone that your level is appropriate to. I don't like that, um, for example, I really enjoy like the Outlands. I wish I could do Outlands as a different um, level. For example, instead of doing Pandaria, I can skip Pandaria and go to Outlands and level there instead. Um, you know, little, little things like that to give you more options and give you more choice in where you should go or where you should level and how you should gain XP. For number two, I give it to World Bosses. I think it's really neat that when we go into a zone, we can have this huge world boss that just kind of sits there overlooking everybody. And you have to team up with random players to try to take it down. Um, especially when you're in a low level zone and you see this big ass freaking monster. And everybody's like, oh, how do we kill it? You know, how do we get to it? I like that in Mist of Pandaria, for example, we had the Shaw of Anger, who just kind of sat there overlooking everybody as you kind of walked by. And he would just smack people or he creates a humongous... Um, areas that he would just take to himself and you couldn't really get near those areas because you don't want to pull the boss and get yourself killed and WoW sometimes we had these um, faction standoffs for world bosses where each faction will kind of team up on each side and uh, whoever ties it first whoever's ready faster sometimes the other the other faction might get a little pissed off and start fighting in there too so you have this huge boss who's beating on everybody but you also have the factions that are beating on each other and it's like this huge epic fight um, it can be frustrating at times, but it's still so fun. The fantasy of it is really cool. I definitely love world bosses. I love games that encourage you to go out there and fight bosses out in the world rather than in instant zones. And for my number one, I'm going to give it to large scale battlegrounds. And this is because I'm kind of a PvP guy. I really like these huge fights. Um, I love Guild Wars 2's World v World v World system where you have three servers that go at it in a huge borderlands that lasts for a week. Everybody's just fighting each other trying to capture as many points and as much of that map as possible. Um, Alterac Valley from World of Warcraft is amazing too. You got a 40 v 40 match. Obviously it's not as cool anymore. Now the Alliance just kind of stomps on everybody. But back in the day where we had these really long Sometimes even whole days would be dedicated to just Alterac Valley and just everybody fighting each other and fighting for just winning the battleground. Even if the reward wasn't that great, there was just a sense of feeling, the sense of war between these two sides. Um, I know Elder Scrolls Online has a uh, system like this as well, where you have th the three factions all fight like in this humongous battleground. I haven't actually played Elder Scrolls yet, so I can't give my opinion, but I think that looks incredible. I love those kinds of 
huge war zones where everybody's just fighting each other and fighting for something. I liked also when WoW had those zones that had little points. For example, back in the day, the Eastern Plaguelands, they had these three, you know, little castles on the map that you could actually capture. I think they gave buffs, I could be wrong, but they gave something and they were kind of cool to fight for while you were questing. You just kind of had these little skirmishes breaking out over little insignificant castles or I mean I guess they might have had some relevance or some significance if they gave buffs but these kind of um, world fights like these huge like kind of what Asheran should have been but wasn't Asheran sucks and those are my top five MMO features um, these are my opinion though I would love to hear your opinion go ahead and comment down below so I can take a look thank you guys for checking me out I upload every Thursday I will see you guys next week and take it easy